Right, Avid, a spec luggage range. We've actually gone a bit different this year. We've involved a lovely little rucksack, which certainly appeals to me. Hard top for storage of buzzers, safety in mind. Okay, now one of the things with rucksacks is they weren't popular, you have to delve in from the top and dive in almost. We've got rid of that problem because now the items that are out of reach are now within reach. It's got a lovely trademark camo inside. So we get rid of that one. They are going to be popular, certainly going to be used by me. Right, carryalls. They've all got the hard top and on the bottom, the waterproof bottom and the rugged pads on there. So we're not slipping about in the mud, but they're all, they're not porous anymore, okay? Session call bag. Again, we've gone the front with the hard case. Comes with plates, knives, forks, and a lovely little towel. And the gas holder is detachable to either take completely off when you're using your cooker elsewhere, or you can put it either side. That aside, now we've got a modular. I'd use this for food. Let's say you're going away. Cooker, milk, tea, biscuits, sandwiches, main food in that one. You know, this is also a fishing bag. I'd quite happily use this as a fishing bag. Small food bag. They're all lined, okay, as cool bags. Again, you can take the gas fitment off and it fits either side. This one, again, would appeal to me because of the type of fishing I do. Nice, compact and light. This gets rid of your tackle box. If you've got too much gear to go in here, you've got too much gear to be going fishing. In this one, we've put a bit of bait and PVA in one side, needles and anything sharp in there, so you're not delving and cutting your fingers. Marker floats in there and it comes with two little handy packets there. That is a must, certainly in my gear. And last but not least, just three little carryalls. They've always got the, the window at the front, they've all got it. Nice patterned interior, detachable dividers. There you go, A-spec luggage range. Now tell me there's not something in there that you'll be using. Right, we never thought we could make the HQ better, but we have, now we're calling it the dual layer. What we've done is, it's different material now, it's much lighter in weight overall. Okay, everything you see here, other than the bed chair that's in it, comes with it, so there's no add-on extras that you've got to spend extra money on. As you can see, the mesh, this is our own branded mesh, Abbey. Okay, let's try and open that up for you. The modular inside goes all the way across the front now, on the other one it didn't, it stopped here. Okay, you've got the front's totally detachable, the mesh is totally detachable, the back, the entire back, we've got one over there, a one manner with no back on it at all. The whole thing unzips, comes off, rolls up, and it goes inside the sleeves on the inside of the, on, of the modular actually, so there you go. All the front comes off, all the back comes off, and it's massive, and as I said before, everything you see, other than the bed chair, comes with it. We just made the best bivvy even better. Right, it's about time having done entry level rods, which is what we've done here with the Exodus. They're all 12 footers, other than the 10, okay? But in the range, we've got the 12 foot, which is three, three and a quarter and three and a half, okay? 12 footers. We've done a 10 footer, which I've been using, and it is the, the axe on it is absolutely superb. I'm not in the 10 foot rods, but having used these, they certainly fit into my fishing now. Also in the range, to top it off, we've got a four and a half pound spot stroke marker rod. We've put them both together this time, so you haven't got to buy multitudes of rods. So there you go, Exodus range, they're all 50, 60 quid, I think they are, 59.99. So entry level rods, now brilliant rods, can be afforded by everyone.